just editing this video and I realised that I completely forgot to do an intro. Hi guys, it's Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all having a fabulous day. I am so excited for today's video. I'm going to be doing a Come Dine With Me style video with Jess, my friend. Jess also has a YouTube channel, The Slice of Jess, which I would highly encourage you watch because part two of her cooking for me will be on there. I am so excited for this video. I've wanted to film a video like this for the longest time with someone and I eventually roped Jess into it. So basically one night she's going to be coming over to mine for a three course meal and then I'm going to be going to hers for a three course meal. We're going to rate, review and yeah, just basically it's a bit of fun. I've never really cooked for anyone apart from family so I'm a little bit nervous. But anyway, if you like this style of video, please make sure you give this one a thumbs up, subscribe down below. And without further ado, let's just get into the video and go and cook for Jess. The one thing that I'm not looking forward to is the dessert. I can't bake to save my life. So, earlier today, I tried to make a mug cake. Because I thought if I can get the ingredients and the consistency right, and if it tastes nice, Bob's your uncle. It tasted like absolute shit. So, I'm gonna, this little thing, which I usually use for like casseroles and pies. I love cooking like mean, like savory food. Bacon, not a bit of meat. But I'm thinking, if I can use this, I'm gonna mix everything together in here. And then I'm gonna use this. Basically, I'm trying to make just a cake that tastes okay because if I can get a decent tasting cake, I can decorate it then with biscoff and sprinkles and make it taste better and then I have ice cream which I can serve on the side to get rid of the flavour but the cake needs to taste okay and this one nothing would solve the way that it tastes. Okay I have these little bacon powder sachets so I think two is like two teaspoons that should be okay. I'm mixing all the dry ingredients first I don't know why but something in my head is telling us to mix the dry so Right, so dry, dry. I need. I'm gonna. So I've put bacon powder, flour. I'm gonna put a bit of salt. Eh, uh, not salt, sugar. Sorry. I feel like because I'm trying to make it. I want it to be really sweet because I feel like if it's sweet, it's gonna be quite nice. Whoops, that should be okay. A tiny bit of oil just to substitute the egg. Like a cake batter to me. That looks. Doesn't look a lot there, like. I don't know if I need to make some more. Grandma, bless her as well, is so good at baking and used to like bake with us as a kid, but I've retained none of that knowledge. I'm gonna just taste the mixture because I feel like I'll know if it's good or not. Is this cake batter consistency? I do not know. I think Jess is stressing too because she's just rang us and she's in Tesco and she's like, I'm really confused. Like, which which chocolate can you have? Which has made us feel a bit better because I thought Jess was going to like sail through this. This is the cake. It's talking and no like bacon shit is coming out there. So I think that means it's cooked. Yeah, that looks like actual cake. Like, hello. Because I feel like, I feel like if I try and slice it when it's warm, it might crumble. Sean's going to taste test. But remember, this has got no filling on it. This is pure cake. Like a sponge. Fuck. It's just like chewy. It's alright, but it's a rubber chewy. Mm. <laughs> it's like rubber. You just need a cool. Do you think once it's like there? Yeah, you <laughs> sweet stuff. Whose stupid idea was this? Oh yeah, it was my bloody idea. Why did I decide I wanted a three calls come down for me? I can't fucking cook. Hair is up, the cardigan is off, Demi is officially stressed. So I'm pre cooking. My sausages in the air fryer. Jess is having these Irish sausages. So I'm making like a pie, but I only have one small dish like this. So of course this one is gonna be Jess's because I'm actually gonna serve it to her in the dish. I think it'll look better and I'm gonna have some broccoli on the side and some veg on the side. The mashed potato, I wanted it to be really, really smooth. So I've um, blended it and it does actually look really smooth. I've put butter in it, white pepper, um, a little bit of oat milk just to make it really creamy because that's gonna go on top of my sausage pie, but I need to make the actual filling now. I'm making the filling in here for my stuffed peppers. So I have just put in here, um, it looks like nuts, but it's not nuts. Jess is actually allergic to nuts, which I'm very well aware of. Um, I've put in here dried onion, dried garlic, parsley. I'm gonna add some more garlic granules in some Chinese salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna add some water, mix it all together. And then this is gonna go my peppers. Jess's is gonna be topped with normal cheese, mine with vegan cheese.
Jessica. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I'm so excited. <laughs> I've told her, I've prepped her, I've said I've done comfort foods. She made me go first as well. Hmm. I just like to know what I'm up against. Yeah. <laughs> Go and save our starter. Okay guys, so this is Jess's starter here. And then this one's mine. They're more or less the same apart from the cheese. Um, but yeah, I just need to neaten the plate up a bit and then I'm gonna go and save it away. <laughs> oh no, I do like these. <laughs> I've made them before. Okay, yeah. good. Because yeah. I haven't thought about my presentation yet. Oh, I did, I was stressed about it. I was like, I can't save every dollar on a plate. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Um, so the filling's made with garlic, quinoa, rosemary, dried onion flakes, okay. all mixed together with water, a little bit of garlic puree, bit of oat milk, mixed together stuff. DL Demi, you've got all out here. <laughs> yeah. It's absolutely, the filling is really nice. <laughs> I'm impressed. Well, she's cleared the plate whether she's gagging inside or not. No, no, I was actually very pleasantly surprised. After the after the full meal's done, Jess is gonna go upstairs mm -hmm. and tell you behind the scenes how she really feels, and then I won't say it until I edit the video. Okay guys, so I've I've started dishing mine out of here because obviously I didn't have the same dish. It looks really big, but I think I'm gonna serve it like that because if I try and take it out, it's gonna make a right mess and then put I feel like that's going to be the best option. Oh, okay. Right. Well, it's, uh, I would say, <laughs> traditional English home comfort. I can smell it. It's like cottage pie or something. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's, not, it's not cottage pie. Shepherd's pie. Well, no, it's sausage pie. Ooh. But okay. it was a TikTok recipe. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's a, I love mashed potato. There's something about it. I do like some like mashed potato. Yeah. Right? Do you expect a pie? Mm -mm. No. I expected a tomato pasta. <laughs> <laughs> well, it did cross my mind, right? But I thought <coughs> that's too simple. Well, I, I can't dish you a tomato pasta. Because I feel like that's a very demi dish. I it see is. that all oh. the time. <laughs> yeah. Like that was if this had gone wrong, that was mm. what you were getting. But I felt like I wanted to try and make more of an effort and try to make different. Do you know the way you were going on on WhatsApp saying like, oh, you know, you've had a, you've had like experience in the kitchen and <laughs> this, that and the other and then you bring out this. Like the thing with me, I get really nervous cooking. Like it's like watching someone open a gift I've bought for them. It's like I've did that. Like if they mm. don't like it, I'm like, oh, so it's the dessert. It's the dessert. It's oh god, we'll not talk about the dessert. <laughs> okay, so mains are done. It was just a little bit too much, but it was very nice. Yeah, it, your, yours was a big tray, but it was mainly for presentation. <laughs> yeah. Right, so I'm gonna go and do the dessert, but I need ten minutes to sort it out. <laughs> yeah, I'm nervous for this one because okay. Demi's told me that it might be a disaster. So. Okay guys, this is how the desserts look in. Presentation's okay, but it is rock solid. Just not gonna be able to eat it, but I don't know what to do. So I'm gonna um put some sprinkling on it and I'm just gonna have to serve it. Why are you so, why are you like <laughs> nervous about this? I need it. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I have made this three times and it's not work, Jess. So I thought, you know what? I'm still gonna serve it now. It's just just gonna have to look and eat the ice cream. It won't go. <laughs> I feel like I've lost all points. It will. I mean, it I've looks made pretty. it three times. And the cake keeps going hard. And I'm substituting the egg with oil, which says everywhere to do. <laughs> when I first opened my eyes, right, bear in mind that you've already asked me what flavour ice cream I would like. Mm -hmm. I thought that was one of them trying marshmallows. <laughs> but though. Well, get into it. Yeah, rather. Oh, no, I've got to <laughs> no, but you know the thing was, right, when it come out, it wasn't like that. Me and Sean taste tested it and it was nice. But as it's as it's cooling, it, it's gone solid. <laughs> I don't think cake should crunch like that. No. I mean, when it when it first came out, presentation was good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it looks like, <clears throat> do you know, like primary school cake. Yeah. If it had just been fucking soft, like I wouldn't even have minded if it was too soggy or stodgy. But you can't eat it. You definitely follow a recipe for a cake and not like a gingerbread. <laughs> no, it 
was a cake. Hmm. I'll show you the recipe I followed. It was on like um, BBC Good. I cannot bake to save my life. I mean, I'm struggling. I mean, apart it's not from as eatable, does it? I mean, the parts that were eaten weren't actually made by you, so. Do you know how hard it is to melt Biscoff and not get it crumbly? Yes, actually. At <laughs> <laughs> the amount of times I've burned Biscoff. See, so, you know. But you know the other thing as well? I also nearly cheated again. So I nearly cheated fully and bought a cake, right? And then I nearly cheated half and I bought a cake mix, which is sitting in there. Oh. <laughs> and I was going to use that. And I thought, is that cheating? Yes. Is that not? That, that would have been cheating. Yeah. So I thought, no, I couldn't bring myself to cheat on you. So I didn't cheat. Fair but, enough. Um, I mean... I know, I, yeah. I've just got to hope and pray something goes wrong with one of her dishes. Right. Oh, I feel like I'm in the diary room. Okay. So, I was very pleasantly surprised, actually. Um, so, the starter, absolutely lush. Really like that. Love the presentation. I, li I like that a lot. Um, probably no negatives to the starter. Main course, a little bit too much of it, um, but otherwise very nice. And I would have liked a little bit of a, like, another variation of a vegetable, maybe like a carrot or something on the side, but otherwise it was very nice. And then the dessert. <sighs> I feel bad because I can tell that there was a lot of effort put into it because she's actually spent probably quite a lot of time baking, the, uh, baking it. It's just a shame that it didn't show up. Um, the presentation was nice though. I was I was impressed with the presentation. It did look like school cake. Unfortunately, the texture um, was a little bit unedible. Um, overall, I am impressed. It was not at all what I thought. I've, based on what I've seen on Demi's channel, I thought that it was going to be like a tomato pasta because I see her eat that all the time. I wasn't sure on the starter, and I kind of thought for the I thought for the dessert it was just going to be like strawberries dipped in chocolate or something. <laughs> But she's obviously gone through a lot of effort and I'm very impressed with tonight. So yeah, I am going to rate Demi a seven. Okay, so Jess has judged us. I do not know what she's said or what score she's given us. And I won't know until we edit the videos. Cause, um, but tomorrow night Jess will be cooking for me. Mm -hmm. Three courses, I'm very <laughs> excited. So make sure you go and watch her channel. I'll have it below and then obviously stay at the end and see what result I give her to see who wins. But I'm so excited. If you like these style of food challenge videos, let us know by giving this one a thumbs up and subscribe. If you'd like me and Jess to do any more type of food videos or challenges, let me know and we can do them. But I've really enjoyed this one. I have actually. So yeah. It's different to like our usual food challenges. Yeah. So it's been good. And even though cooking and baking is very stressful for me, <laughs> I actually did enjoy today, like, apart from the cake when I kept going wrong, but, like, everything else. I found it quite fun, and I've enjoyed, like, even filming the cooking and getting segments, mm -hmm. and so I'm excited for tomorrow. My my work here is done. I can chill now. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got to eat food tomorrow and review you. I'm a little bit nervous now, but, yeah, I'll be fine, I'm sure. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.